Hi guys, it's Ebony and today is going to be a haul video and I decided that instead of waiting until I've done some major shopping to do a haul, that I'm just going to start doing little hauls here and there, even if it's like two or three things. If I pick up, you know, a few things here at Walmart or a few things here at Target, I'm just going to haul it because before I was like under the impression that I, it wouldn't be interesting to do a haul unless I, it was some like major major haul and I haven't been doing major shopping like I told you all so whenever I pick up a few items I'm gonna haul it anyway because maybe somebody might be interested in it so that's what I'm gonna start doing and plus when I watch um, other people's channels and even if they go to the Dollar Tree or the Dollar, Dollar General and they haul I'm still interested because sometimes they have some good things that I may, may want to pick up so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna do small hauls so today I have a small haul and these are items that I picked up over the past couple of weeks at like Walmart and Target and Walgreens. I think those were the three, the only three places. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to show you is this um, spray from Shea Moisture. It's the Yucca and Baobab Thickening Moisture Mist with Biotin and Bamboo e Extract. And it's this right there, here. And it's funny because when I did the Come Shopping With Me video and I was looking at the Shea Moisture products, I was like, who would pay this much for a bottle of water because it's just like a clear liquid. And I was like, if anybody has tried this, please let me know. And one lady commented down below in my video, and I'll put her name somewhere on the screen because I don't remember her name. But I'm so thankful that she commented because she said that she actually likes it. And so I tried it, so I bought it, and I've been using it, and I like it. I really like it. I absolutely love the smell. I can't describe the smell, but it's so refreshing when I just miss my hair like ch -ch -ch, and I smell it. It's so refreshing and I love this stuff and I would not have ever purchased this if it wasn't for her commenting because to me it just looked like water. I mean it has a little bubbles on the top right now because I've been shaking it but it just looks like water in the bottle. But it's so good for refreshing my hair on the second or third day. When I did my recent video where I showed you my wash and go routine and I told you like if I don't want to co-wash my hair I'll just I'll just um, put some water in my hair to kind of reactivate my curls to be able to um, wear my hair a second or a third day without co-washing co again. Well instead of using water, water is good, water is always good, water should be your no number one moisturizer but um, instead of using water if I want to use something else I'll use this and I'll just spruce my hair like it'll moisten my hair at least my hair feeling soft um, almost conditioned I really don't know what it is about this stuff but at least my hair feeling very soft and almost conditioned and it's a way of me re wetting my hair without um, if I don't want to use water and um, it does it, it, it works a little bit differently than water because when water dries my hair it, it doesn't feel like much um, but when this dries my hair feels soft it almost feels a little coated not in a bad way but it, it feels like it has some type of product in there so anyway I love this stuff I absolutely love it so the same time I bought that I also bought this um, this second day curl refresher from curls I bought this one I haven't used this yet but it says second day curl refresher to reactivate and moisturize curls and that was and that's what I've been doing with water I've been using it to reactivate and moisturize my curls on the second day third day whatever so when I saw this I was like this would be perfect because this is exactly what I needed um, so I bought these at the same time because I wanted to try both and I I just couldn't choose one or the other so I wanted to try both so I bought them at the same time I haven't tried this yet but I'm going to try it and see how I like it and I'll let you guys know um, but this looks to be a little bit thicker thicker than the um, Shea Moisture Spray um, and what else does it say? It says effortless frizz free curls for multi multi ethnic women and girls. Whatever. I guess that's just about the curls line. Um, let's see. It says directions. Apply lavish curls moisturizer to wet and or dry hair. Do not rinse. Follow up with your favorite curl styling product. Hmm. So this is like a moisturizer. Hmm, I'll see. I'll try this and see how I like it. So I bought those two things from Walmart. Also, when I, I was at Walmart, I bought another satin cap. I bought this one right here. It says Stay On Sat Satin Anti Breakage 
Um, it says it has an anti-breakage conditioner in there built into the cap. I don't believe in that. <laughs> like, how can you build in an anti-breakage conditioner into the cap? I mean, it may have it in there, but I didn't purchase it for that reason. I just like the shape of the cap. If you see, it has like a rounded dome part up here, and then it has the two strings on the side. So I can just wrap the dome part around here, take the strings tight, secure it in the front, and this thing will not come off at night. I used to use this type of satin scarf when I was relaxed. So I really like it. I bought the black one. And um, it's very cheap, like $2 and something. So I got that. Um, also, while I was at Walmart, I picked up another Ultra Liner in black because my last one ran all out. This was my absolute favorite liquid liner. The brush is great. Um, the, the formula is great. It's my absolute favorite. I'm not even looking for another liquid liner because these work so well. And I normally purchase one in black and then I'll purchase one in brown. And then whatever I feel like using, I'll use it. But I love this liner. Let's see. Also, from Walmart, I just got these nail files. Because I'm going to start doing my nails again. I stopped doing my nails because I braid hair a lot. And I started braiding other people's hair besides my, my daughter's hair. And I would braid on the weekends. And if my nails were done, they would just get chipped or damaged or really messed up. Because I was braiding hair and I was using synthetic hair. And it would just chip my nails. So I stopped doing them. But I want to start doing them again. So I bought this. These are just some emery boards. Alright, while I was at Target, I saw this gorgeous nail polish that would look, I think it's like a top coat, and I think it would look so good over like a plain color nail polish. It would just add some pizzazz to it, and it's this one. Can you guys see that? Okay, you can see it now. It is so absolutely gorgeous. It has like chunky black and silver glitter. The silver, of course, it reflects light, so it, it it looks blue or purple or orange or pink. or It looks all kinds of colors um, when it reflects the light, but it's actually silver. And then it has this chunky black glitter in it, which is the reason why I bought it. Because I'm like, oh, that's so pretty with the chunky black glitter. And I'm just going to put this on top of like a solid nail color. I don't know what color would look good, um, but I'm going to figure out something because this is so gorgeous and I want to use it. So that's that, and that's from L'Oreal, and it's called the Sparklicious. The Sparklicious. Okay, then I want to show you this other one that I bought. And this one is from Sinful Colors. This one is from Sinful Colors, and it's called Silver Rainbows. And let me see if I can get this focus right here. This is just silver, silver glitter, but the glitter are like in strips, like, um like rectangular strips so it's not circle glitter it's like rectangular strips you probably can't see it but it's gorgeous it's silver but just like the other one because it reflects light it looks green blue purple all different colors so I'm going to use this also as a top coat on top of a solid color polish so those are those two let me zoom back out next is from Walgreens I did a video for you guys earlier this week where I showed you the perfusion palettes that I love that I got from Walgreens so I bet went back to Walgreens to see if I can pick up some other colors since the palettes were just a dollar and then I saw a lot of different palettes from perfusion and um, they were different prices they weren't all a dollar but since I like the dollar palette so much and the eyeshadow so much and I actually used it again today um, to do my makeup the, those dollar perfusion palettes um, and that's the only thing I use on my eyes to do my makeup and they they work so well so while I was at Walgreens I saw that they had um, these five dollar palettes and they had some in nude and some in smoke smoky since I, I have both of the Urban Decay naked palettes I didn't want a, another nude palette but I saw the smoky one and I liked it so I, I picked it up and um, it was five dollars and it looks like this and it says smoky eyeshadow palette with brushes so this is what it looks like it has a plas plastic over it right now but it has like an applicator brush right here it has a black eyeliner pencil right here and then it has all of the colors right here so it looks like it has like some like a let me see if I can take this plastic off so I took the plastic off and you see I kind of accidentally swatched this one with my finger. But anyway, it has like a like a champagne color, 
this looks like almost like um looks like a greenish gray color then you have like a taupe then you have like a deeper um a, a mid brown color it's shimmery though then you have like a this is like a pinkish color and then you have um another taupe like a different shade um this is a brown this one is a dark gray this one is a very shimmery silvery silver gray and this one's like a matte black but it looks more like a deep charcoal color to me so this is the palette all right so i'm going to play around with this i mean <laughs> i have enough eyeshadows but sometimes when you get like a fresh palette you get like fresh ideas about makeup looks that you can do so this looks pretty nice um to try to do some smoky eyes with okay so the last thing i purchased was a lipstick and it's an nyc lipstick so i went to walmart to find it they didn't have it i went to um walgreens to find it they didn't they didn't sell nyc makeup products so then i went to cvs and they had it and it's this lipstick right here it's an nyc lipstick and it's called mahogany and the reason why i wanted this lipstick is because it is supposed to be a dupe for uh max riri boy lipstick which is a gorgeous fall color and then and i watched a video where um um a lady did swatches of the Riri Boy and this lipstick and it was very very close. I've never purchased any NYC makeup but that video and those swatches had me definitely wanting this lipstick because I didn't purchase the Riri Boy lipstick or any Riri uh, Rihanna makeup products that MAC had. I wanted this lip color and it since NYC had a very close dupe then um, I bought it so I got that. It was only like 99 cents too so I'm going to try that out. So that's it for this haul. Um, so I'll be back again in another video. I thank you guys so much for watching and um, supporting. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your support so much. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. So while I was at Walgreens, I saw that they had these palettes. And one was a nude palette and one was a smoky palette. And since I have both of the Urban Decay Naked palettes, I didn't want the new palette, but the smoky palette, palette looked interesting. Come here, baby. <laughs> Come here. You want to help? <laughs>